Welcome back to Only Talk Sports, where we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. Subscribe to the channel for more sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now I'm getting ready for week two in college football, and I turn on Thursday night football in the NFL, game one of the, in the, of the entire season, and the Bills and the Rams are on. I'm expecting a great game, the defending Super Bowl champs against a, a Bills team that's hungry after losing to the Chiefs in overtime, which it wasn't fair for them that they didn't even get a chance to uh, score themselves in the overtime. And the Rams just got flat out destroyed. They look terrible. I don't know what's going on. But again, this could be a definite overreaction on my part. Well, let's break this game down real quick. It's midnight, and I'm tired, but again, my overreaction right now, the Rams look terrible. Josh Allen had a great game, 26-31 for 297, three touchdowns and two picks. He played well. The two picks, one was definitely not his fault, went through the receiver's hands, and it got picked. The second one, he might have been a little late on the throw, but he still still was a great pass, and it was a great play by the defender for the Rams. And there was a fumble by uh, one of the running backs, but the running game for the Bills is improving a little bit. Beside the fumble, Zach Moss and Devin Singletary, that's good news uh, for the Bills because the run game was not good last year, but it looked a little bit better. And, of course, Josh Allen can run, but he played flawless except for the picks, obviously. But the Bills look fantastic. But the Rams, Matthew Stafford, 29 out of 41, 240 yards and a touchdown and three picks. I mean, he he played good except for the picks, and the picks weren't very good. But here's the problem, though. I think the reason why he had the picks is because Cooper Cup is one of the best receivers in the NFL. We know this. Cooper Cup's fantastic. He had the triple crown last year. He led the league in receiving yards. He led the league in receptions. He led the league in touchdowns. And he's fantastic. But he, last year he had Odell Beckham Jr. beside him. And Odell Beckham Jr. takes a lot of attention off of Cooper Cup. And it kind of splits uh, who's getting the ball. And you can't really you can't double team Cooper Cup as much because you got Odell Beckham. But now that he's gone, they can put more attention on Cooper Cup. And Cooper Cup still played fantastic, but it's a lot harder for Matthew Stafford to get it to him, and he had to force a lot of throws in there to him since Odell Beckham's not there. And on the defensive side of the ball, the Rams last year had, you know, obviously they got Aaron Donald and they got Jalen Ramsey, but they have Von Miller. And now Von Miller's with the Bills. Von Miller's gone, and I understand that, you know, one player, you know, saying Von Miller and – Odell Beckham are gone. Is like, oh, they're losing two players. They shouldn't completely fall off the edge of the earth. But here's the thing. When you have Von Miller, it makes Aaron Donald that much better because Aaron Donald can get more sacks because they can't really focus as much on because you have another linebacker in there that's fantastic. And Odell Beckham Jr., as I said, creates so many opportunities for Cooper Cup. It's unbelievable. And now that they're both gone, that's why they added uh, Von Miller in the midseason because the Rams wanted to win a Super Bowl. And I understand that, you know, the salary cap, you can't pay all these players. But there's a very good chance that the Rams might not be that good this year. I'm not saying that they're not going to be good, and this could be completely overreaction on my part just watching the first game of the season. They look terrible. But for them to be Super Bowl champs, defending Super Bowl champs, they did not, they look anything but that. And it's going to be very interesting to see moving forward if the Rams are still going to be a good team. I hope they are. I hope Sean McVay can get it figured out, but they didn't look good. The Bills look fantastic. Acquiring Von Miller was a great move. If they can, get, if the run game is really good and Josh Allen continues to play as he is and he stays healthy, they're going to be a great football team. But again, the Rams, hopefully it's not, it's not an overreaction, but they did not look good and they lost 31-10 to and they just played terrible. But I hope they can figure it out. But again, did not play well. It's going to be very interesting to see how the Rams fare moving forward and all the other NFL teams this weekend. Subscribe to the channel for more sports content. Comment down below what you think about this game, whether the, the Rams are still a good team or they just had a poor game or if there actually is cause for concern and how good the Bills really are. Like this video, and I will see you next time.